Provide Catheter Care Introduction A catheter is a hollow tube inserted into the bladder to collect urine. A balloon on the end of the catheter is inflated with water once it is in the bladder to hold the catheter in place. The other end of the catheter is attached to a urinary drainage bag. The catheter and urinary drainage bag makes up a closed system, which means that there are generally no openings to the outside to allow bacteria to enter. Once the catheter is inserted into the bladder, the urine runs through the catheter directly into the urinary drainage bag. There are three places that bacteria can enter this system. One, where the catheter is inserted into the body. Two, where the catheter and drainage bag meet, and three, the emptying port of the drainage bag. When bacteria is permitted to enter the catheter system through one of the points of entry on the previous slide, the bacteria could move up the catheter and into the bladder, where they may cause a urinary tract infection, better known as a UTI. Because the risk for urinary tract infections is so great among patients with catheters, they need to be cleaned once a shift. Catheter care involves cleaning the catheter tubing and the skin around where it enters the body, an area known as the urethral meatus. This presentation and the videos will demonstrate how catheter care should be performed to minimize accidental contamination and reduce the likelihood of your patient developing a urinary tract infection. You will need to place a barrier under the patient's hips before beginning this skill. This will keep the bed from getting wet while you are washing the patient. You will definitely be exposed to body fluids during this skill, so gloves are mandatory. Put your gloves on before placing the chucks on the bed under the patient's hips. Make sure you check to see where the catheter tubing is on the bed before you turn the patient to place the chucks under their hips. Leaning against the catheter tubing on the bed while the patient is turning can pull on the catheter and possibly pull it out. When filling the basin with water, use a paper towel to turn the faucet on and off. Your hands will be clean and the faucet is dirty. And check the water temperature with the inside of your wrist. The water should feel warm but not hot. Since this is a washing skill, you will need to ask the patient to check the water temperature before you use the water on a sensitive area to make sure the water is comfortable for the patient. Privacy is important in every skill, but it is very important when performing skills where the patient will be uncovered or undressed. For these skills, we use a privacy blanket, also called a bath blanket, to cover the patient with while we perform the skill. When you are ready to begin this skill, roll the patient's gown inside the privacy blanket up to the patient's waist to expose the peri area. In addition, you will place the towel over the patient's thighs to help ensure as much privacy as possible. This method exposes only the area we will be working on and makes the patient more comfortable. The following slide will illustrate how the patient should look at the beginning of the skill. Notice that the bath blanket is rolled to the waist, the towel is draped over the thighs, and the only area that is exposed is the peri area. Holding the washcloth a certain way will allow you to use the leaves or corners of the washcloth to clean the peri area without using the same area of the washcloth twice. This leaves method is used when cleaning any wet body opening, like the eyes, nose, mouth, rectum, and genitals. Fold the washcloth in fourths and place the folded point in the palm of your hand with the free corners pointed upward. Tuck one corner between your thumb and index finger and the last corner between your ring finger and pinky. To use this method, apply soap to all the leaves of the washcloth you will be using during cleaning. After cleaning the area using the first leaf, Fold the used leaf forward and use the second leaf for the second stroke. Then fold that leaf forward. Continue through all the leaves. This ensures that the contaminated areas of the washcloth are not reused. 
Hold the catheter where it is inserted into the body to prevent unnecessary pulling on the catheter as you clean. Wrap the washcloth around the catheter and wipe away from the body, about four to six inches. Repeat three more times, folding the corners forward after use. When cleaning the female peri area, always wipe from the top down, using five strokes. The first stroke will be down the center while holding the labia open. The second stroke will be down one side on the outside of the labia, and the third stroke will be down the other side on the outside of the labia. The fourth stroke will be down the skin fold where the leg and the groin meet, and the fifth stroke will be down the other side on the skin fold where the leg and the groin meet. The illustration on the next slide will clearly indicate how these strokes should be performed. Always make sure you clean from top down and do not move the washcloth back up to prevent the spread of germs from the rectum to the urethra. This illustration shows how pericare is performed. Notice the downward strokes. The numbers indicate the order in which the strokes should be performed. All skin areas that are washed will be rinsed the exact same way in the same order using the same leaves technique with the rinsing washcloth. Wash, rinse, and dry each area before moving on to the next body part to be cleaned. Make sure you check the urine drainage bag tubing and the catheter to make sure the tubing is not kinked or the patient is not lying on it. Make sure the tubing or bag is not touching the floor or hanging in such a way as to become tangled in the feet of someone walking by. You want to make sure the urine is able to flow freely and the catheter will not be accidentally pulled out. After the cleaning is complete, pull the privacy blanket down to cover your patient's genitals. Remove the chucks and throw it away. You will clean the basin and dispose of your dirty linen. Do not touch the patient's top sheet with your soiled gloves on. Think about where your gloves were and the sheet will be pulled up next to her face. After you remove your gloves, take the privacy blanket off by touching only the underside of the blanket and not the top of the blanket that was touched by your soiled gloves and replace the top sheet over the patient. Perform your closing. Watch the instructional video for step-by-step -step instructions on how this skill is performed. Then try this skill on your own.